the early automatic car assistant years ago in my well at the time i think it was in my 2005 rendezvous but we moved that over to the 2012 ford um and and you know it synced with the phone and that's kind of how it did a lot of the you know more higher end uh uh, functions well they've been bugging me for the last several months because apparently um they're not going to support that anymore at at, after the end of august so i picked up at a deep discount thanks to them um the uh new automatic car assistant now with lte so it's got the usual stuff uh the the uh, crash alert which I was starting the trigger by accident uh, oh, no. <laughs> on, on some of our hills and saying, no, don't call emergency services. So that was on me. Um, also, uh, they have like roadside assistance stuff, real time, like location sharing. You can uh, uh, you can sync this with uh, if this, then that and do some stuff like track your track your miles or anything like that. Um, you can set this up now, Chilla. Here's where you may be interested. You can set this up. So uh, with smart home integration, so that when you're on your way home and so close to your house, it can start turning the lights on or whatever else that you have set up in your home automation. Does it have the ability to do, re- you can't do a remote car start with that though? Uh, not you? with this. Okay. No, no. Uh, we, well, we already have that. Um, but no. That- I, I have, but see, here's the thing is everyone has a remote car start, but not many people have a remote car start from their phone like a lot of people have the key fob right right and, and i think more that doesn't cars, help me on the i think train. tesla does that <laughs> yeah it doesn't help you on a train so no because like so my santa fe has it where mm. i can open up the app on my phone and as long as the doors are locked wherever it's at i yeah. can start it yeah um so if i'm leaving the gym uh, as i'm like getting dressed and getting ready i can in the winter time i or even in the summertime sometimes i start up the car so it's either hot or cold when i get there i would like it like if i'm on the way from the home on the train i could start up the car you get you home when i get out you get there and well you get to the car and in the summertime it's mm-hmm. it's i roll down the windows and don't even get into it for yeah five minutes yeah um no, so I want because our one car has the remote start, the other one doesn't. But I'm looking for it where I can get it f- to actually activate from my cell phone. And I was thinking because that's LTE enabled and integrates with your phone. Mm-hmm. Maybe you could send a so the, start signal. The, the LTE, um, while you know it's nice, and I always got notifications, but it was always um, it was synced to my phone. So when Missy was in the car, she wasn't going to get the crash alert. She wasn't going to get anything because there was nothing to connect to. Right. But then like I'm gone for like a week on various <laughs> business trips. I come back, use the car for the first time and start getting all of the notifications for every trip she's done while I've been gone. Right. Oh, like every like, like short you're spying pop. on her. Yeah. Well, no, it gets even better because um, now I've low jacked the car because <laughs> I set everything up and now I get a notification by default. I, I haven't really started messing with this. Um uh, I get a, I get a, a message when the car starts driving. I get a message when it's stopped and to tell me where it's parked. I am literally like uh, uh, Missy went to a meeting because all my stuff was like here in town and she was going places on other jobs and meetings like Friday and Saturday. So I knew when she was coming back. I knew she when she got there, like the whole thing, <laughs> the entire weekend. So it was, um, I was like, I, it pops up. I'm like, oh yeah, they're at Sheets before the wrestling show. Okay. All right. I know. <laughs> I know they're on their way. Um, so yeah, I've, I've completely low checked the car. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> but also she can install the app, sync in and do the same thing when I'm out driving or, you know, on whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's great if you're like, Hey, junior has is 16 and has the car, you know, how fast is he going? How, is there? Yeah. Because you, you get all the, because mm-hmm. it's, it still has all the, because that's one of the big things I got at first was all the, uh, safe driving alerts, like the, the, the speeding up, the going over 70, um, and sudden stops. Right. You know, if you're seeing like you come back and you see all these things, it was like, Oh, junior got to learn how to drive, you know, or, you know, so it's like, it's kind of a, a, a condition, you know, to that. And, 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 you know, again, you're not worried about tracking their phone or anything else. It's like, where is the car? Cause that's going to, and, and that's good for safety too, in case something happens. So, so is there an additional fee? Cause there's LTE. Yes. So, um, I'm looking at this and actually the fees are not on 
Uh, so I get a year free, and if you get the, you pick this up. Generally, it's, it's the first six months are free of premium. That includes everything, but there's also select, which actually you get for three years free for that. Uh, but that does not include a real time location and sharing vehicle. Di oh, no, you have that uh, business expense tracking and smart home integrations. That's not part of uh, select. A roadside assistance is pay for use, right? Um, all the rest of the stuff is the premium that uh, you get six months free. And then after that, do, 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 you can subscribe at $5 a month, which not, is not, not bad, bad. No, <laughs> for a service like that. I mean, it's got to be better than some other car. And, and that includes roadside assistance. That's that's great. Um, so I don't know how extensive. I don't know if that's the same as roadside assistance with, like, my insurance company, but I don't know. Um, but, no, it's automatic. Check it out, automatic.com. Uh, they're not spelled weird or anything, which is amazing. I, I, every time I go to search for it, I'm like, I'm never going to find this because it's just a word. And uh, there it is. So go good, good, good on you guys for the SEO. So go check out, check that out. It's definitely highly recommended.